For centuries, human were at pinnacle of all creation, until strange occurrence of a new gene structure changed everything, the new genetic makeup was for superior to that of humans, giving birth to an entire different species we call, chimios, a minor enhancement to strength, endurance, and regeneration are all simply complementary asset of a chimios, one third of the world's population is said to be chimio, but it that was not terrifying enough, they also developed special abilities. Recognized as a talent, most talents are predominantly harmless, the ability to manipulate a simple element, or control over the internal structure, creating and manipulating extensions of one's body, in rare cases, to change the entire cellular makeup of one's body at will and a vast variety of other mutation, but not all talents, are harmless, the great power of the few elite chimios, cause many humans to tremble in fear are of their possible extinction, as their power may result in the ultimate decimation of the human race. These talents are well known in this world. Then we saw the town, port of Spain, location, Trinidad, and Tobago, there is a man announcing that, the next up, for his third fight of the night, newcomer, the human titan from the Red Ember Gym. Chu Hart, and his opponent the deadly sharp Kaimayo, 15 wins and 4 losses, from Salt Lake Gym. Quill, Chu vs Quill. Human vs Kaimayo. Expect blood people. We don't have much of these fights for medical reasons, but don't count the human out yet, his 3 win looked promising, and then Quill said, a human? While Chu Hart thinks, a 15 win career. What's your special trick? Then fight announce, Quill said, once you step in this octagon there's no room for pity, so why don't you come close hard? And then he stretch his muscle to porcupine like sharp tip, his talent in his muscle fiber he can extend them flexing, them harden the skin which covers these muscle spikes making sharp quills. They start fighting, Quill throw his punch, while Chu defend him, then Quill hit with his leg while Chu defend himself again with his block hand, Quill said, come on heart. Show him something, you sure did turtle up with all that defending. Chu thinks, you are covered on spikes, who is going to attack a defense like that, you are the one turtle up, Quill said, heart, and he will give you free shot. Come on. Chu heart thinks, this is clearly bait, but perhaps he can slip through. Then he go low and while Quill punching him, he avoid he dodge his punch, lower down while his abdominal part is wide open, Chu then prepare a punch but sudden from that abdominal part all spikes appears that hits the Chu, Chu said, cheeky bastard, while Quill said, on your feel fit heart, Chu concludes, he can choose the exact spot to Quill at will, a solid defense when facing a human challenger, however, the fact that you are not permanently in a fully quilled state, then Chu said, you can't hold your quill for a long can you? He had say 30 to 60 second tops. Quill said, not bad you figured me out, so, come on. Try me again. Chu heart dripping blood while said, try you again? You are baiting me for the second time. He said, okay he'll bite. And then Chu doing some crazy footwork there and rounding him, avoiding his then Chu heart jump above, and punch him his face and that's announcer said, the human's first hit. After that Chu jump over Quills and prepare for a kick then Quill smile and think, what a fool. A jump attack. Now he cross his both hand and spikes all through for defense and thought, now Chu heart can't alter his trajectory mid air. This is the end of the line for heart, this is his win while heart is still in mid air sudden he draw back his kick, which surprised Quill with wide open eyes and then Chu Hart sat down and ready for a powerful punch, he punched Quill in his stomach very hard, Chu Hart prepare another punch and said, left, then Quill said, he won't to be letting that happen again. And he spikes through all over his face and said try, then Hart smirk, and said, right, and he again punch him in his stomach then Quill hold his hand on that position and said, he won't lose another, and spikes his stomach that Quill Chu's hand, Chu heart smile and said, you bait her, you can't spike two places at once. That your jaw is wide open. Then Quill's eye is widened, 
Ben Chu heart punch Quill's jaw very hard and that's KO he win the battle, one hour later, he is wiping his blood, washing blood stains from clothes, while he see himself into mirror wounded and cuts all over his body, then his room's door open two men appears and said, Chu heart, you messed up, they both staring him and said, they cut to the point, we bet a lot of money on you losing tonight, so the fact that you won, is a major problem, for you, it's simple, you. Give us back every cent you made tonight and we will let you lick your wound, and don't try to be hero, you are clearly mess after what our boy Quill did to you. Then Chu said, you should close the door before we start, then one of a man bring out a knife and said, very well, then outside there is a bright moon on sky and it's raining outside, a moment later there is a reception on there a receptionist she see Chu heart and thinks, he is so cute, then Chu come to her, she said. You were amazing tonight, don't worry about the scratches, she asked him to spending time with him but Chu said, he have couple of things to do at home, then she gives his winning money and try to flirt with him she said, sweetheart if you could ever got cold, you know where to find me, then Chu heart said, by the way tell admin there are two injured person in his changing room, no idea what happened there, later that night, he is bathing and thinking about, pain, it lets us know we are, alive but the reason he endure this better not be in vain. The following morning, there is a car standing outside his home, his friend waiting for him, the lady in the car said, he has got some women in there, he's never on time, then Kevin said, he don't think any woman can stand, Chu for more than a day, he came out while closing door he said, speak louder, not like it's only 6 in the morning, then Kevin said, you talk to me, he have known you 15 years, it's been 7 years since you have had this apartment, none of us have ever seen the inside, you, sell drug bro, because my grandma needs Advil, then he said, get your butt in car, you better not make us late, then they go to Red Ember Gym, this is Dojo, and they're his dojo mates and an old man Leo Thomas a war hero who is their teacher and treat them like his son, then we saw there is a training a man kicking in fast pace, that old man is simply dodges the kick, the man again start kicking him with fast move, that old man defending him swiftly with his leg, then the fighter step back and he start circling around him with speed then that old man said, if you talent, is speed, being predictable would only means one thing, then he prepared to launch a attack on, old man turned and said, you are using it entirely wrong, and he hold his punch that man is shock and the old man said, awesome, you will listen and listen closely and hit him with the various hitting punches, further said, you are all unique, what makes each of you special, then that old man start final attack and hit him with his palm, awesome throw away behind, old man continue his teaching that, if you fail to maximize these unique differences of yours, the gift that makes you one of a kind. Then that old man holds Azam hand and lifts him above and said, you will become as common as human fighter. And then moving him around like child and toss him mid-air and prepare his kick, Azam's eyes widen, then old man kicked him and Azam throw away arena's end side while other mates are watching all this, the old man said to Azam, don't option out just at sun, once more, and Azam said, yes master. Then there are four dojo mates there, and one of them said, as you can see, Azam decided he wanted go first, then second man said, poor kid had a bright future ahead of him, then that old man again beaten Azam and said, that's enough for now Azam, you may rest, we will work on your assault tactics later, and then old man turned and said, Chu, come here. Then Kevin make him fun while Chu is scared and sweating all over, Chu in the arena said, good morning, while old man seen angry and said, you fool, he further said, you have done it again, fighting behind my back after he specially forbade it. You are human, what happens when you are forced to fight a Kaimayo you exceeds your skill. What then, look at your wound, he will not lose another son. Then old man slap him, Chu feel like, his soul is out of his body, he hold his cheek while old man is still saying, aren't you an underground fighter now? Let us begin with, then three dojo mates shocked and turn, 
there are someone coming and he is smiling and said, why so serious Leo? While old man is giving him cold gaze, then three men enter there and one man said, he bet you never expected to see him again. He wrote Kash Rampersad, a narcissist, top 150 ranking of the world's strongest Kaimayos, his arrogance makes him the most hated man in the country, Kevin said, Master, you know this fool? No one is allowed in the dojo during training sessions, he clearly couldn't read the sign, illiterate maybe? Then old man said, you are not welcome here, Rokash. While all the boys are gathered there, Rokash said, that's no way to greet your favorite past student, teacher. Chu is shocked to hear that, every boy is annoyed by that and Rokash smiles and said, you boys got some spark. How about sparring? Old man is slowly start burning and thought, you still have not changed and his eyes start fire and all body emitting fire around and old man said, enough of this, then Chu surprise and Rokash and his team watching him that old man said, this is no longer your home Rokash. He will not repeat himself, you will leave at once, then Rokash turned back and said, 25 years since he have stepped foot in this old place, you have no idea what true strength is. You will acknowledge his strength before you die old man, he turned, see angry gaze and said, that may come sooner than you think. Then later that evening Chu Hart is clearing the floor, while the old man is putting all things to their place, Chu said, you all right master, who the hell does he think he is, threatening you like that? What happened between you and Rokash, master said, he was an old student of many years ago, he was one of my strongest, and Rokash problem was that he never understood the seriousness that goes with a fight. One day, behind my back he challenged a young man named Jacob, that fight was a mistake from the get-go. Don't know what he was trying to prove, but he killed Jacob, there was a big investigation and he was cleared unintentional homicide, he hasn't been back since ever come again, Chu said, he'd kick his ass if he ever comes again, master smiled and said, look at my little human boy making threats. Chu smile and says, whatever old man. Your student got your back this time, master said, you go now, he know you have your usual chores to attend to, after that Chu Hart goes to meet doctor, Chu is his regular patient so have some kind of friendly relation, doctor asked him to quit underground fight because his body condition in not good, he see Chu's lab repot, a punchy or lung, fractures the both clavicle and bruised shoulder socket, severe tissue and muscle and many damage to hand, nerve. Doctor said, he cannot make you stop what you do on your own time, your body is suffer than the average human, thank you Thomas training but you are still lucky to be alive, you can't hide this from your friend and family forever, your body is at the breaking point young man, you keep pushing it too far, Chu said with smile, he really do appreciate your concern for him, beside, the money is going to be a very good cause, later that night. Leo Thomas is sitting on chair and reading a book then someone opens the door, it was Rokash and his man is coming, master said, you really have not changed, Rokash. Meanwhile Chu and Kevin are worried for master, Kevin assured him that Rokash can't do anything to master so don't worry, then we saw Red Ember Jim is burning while inside that master standing and Rokash is kneeling on ground, the master is bullet shot on his abdomen, he see his blood and think, he hate being old, is he really too weak to avoid a firearm now? The boy is scared and then we see him holding a gun, then Rokash said, where did you get that gun, you fool? He told you he was mine to finish. The boy going to say something but Rokash scream him that look out boy, while master is approaching on him with ultimate phoenix spear, that hit that boy and to be thrown on the wall, the master standing while burning and said, is this how you raise your nephew? Can you even begin to comprehend responsibility? Rokash greeted his teeth said, You talk of responsibility as through you understand it, old man you refuse to acknowledge his power, even after he put this failed dojo on the map. This place has never housed as a stronger student, Jacob was now where near his progress, master angrily said, You will not speak his name again, and then they faces each other, master said, 
because he did in fostering a deprived mind in your nephew, with all that he had with you, not only as a student but as a son, but somehow you seem to have surpassed the point of reasoning, then he burned like phoenix, a trail of fire behind him, master said, this night, he will address his mistakes. Then that old man jump over toward Rokash while Rokash said, come old man, then start fighting each other, old man is kicking him while Rokash is depending himself, old man is beating him with left and right with his finest fist move, lower cut abdominal a powerful punch hit him. Rokash coughed blood after that impact then old man hold his collar from behind and throw him up, and then he prepared to jump, while Rokash is seeing him widen eyes and thinking, what? An aerial attack. Then old man jump toward him and pass him beside go higher than Rokash, Rokash thinks, he won't give me a second to activate his talent. Then old man prepared his another attack and fall from above Rokash, old man comes near behind him with bursting into fire, Rokash thought, he has completely frozen. Then old man hit him with his both hand in mid air, then old man said, Ilios. Descending meteor, one he burst more fire and jump on falling Rokash in air and he fall down on ground there is a big blast happens, the old man is trying to standing on ground and think, he is far too old to heal a wound like this anymore, there is a bullet hole in his stomach, the old man said, you knew my strength would deteriorate with age, congratulation, you have placed me second anyway from my death, but as for you Rokash after saying this the old man is vanished and come near to. Rokash face and said, as he perish, he will ensure you live the rest of your days maimed. And then the old man is sitting near holding an eye of Rokash while Rokash is in very pain screaming loudly, like hell, Rokash nephew frightened and dragging him said, uncle, get up, the building is already caving in on itself. We have to move, while Rokash shouting, damn, Leo, this is you grave old man, then the old man is on his last breath kneeling down exhausted and spilling blood, his last moment he still calling Chu heart name, and slowly, slowly he engulfed by fire. Next day, there is raining outside, Chu is sobbing, they holding funeral and his students are standing there, they all talked about Leo Thomas, how he was a great man, he was gathering in even of his passing, while everyone is sobbing, one of man said to Chu, that they know Rokash did this, we all want revenge, sitting here on our asses solved nothing. Azam said, looking around he found Rokash is organizing tournament and the winner get to take him one versus one, they want you to represent our red ember gym, Chu said, he's the only here without power, what sense does make, Kevin said, we don't care about that meaningless proposition, being human has never limited you, and you won't be alone, he will be your side, then Chu said, very well, once we agree on the same target, when do we start? Four months later, every Red Ember Gym member come to the Rokash Enterprise Combat Stadium, Azam said, this is a lot of peoples, everyone's loves to watch a fight, he already booked you two changing room, Chu is fight number 8 and Kevin is fight number 7, while Kevin girlfriend said, Kevin Charles you will be careful. Then there is an announcement happened on TV that, today we take a look at the host of the Central Human Mixed Martial Arts Tournament Rokash Rampersad, then everyone at their faces turn angry after hearing, the commentator telling about that, the world top 150 strongest fighter about Rokash, 61 years old millionaire, then that talk about Rokash wealth and his history and last he talk about his teacher Leo Thomas and the share deepest sympathy to Mr. Rokash, then long hair man said, if they only knew what the bastard did. Chu Hart prepare for his fight, then there is an interview of Rokash, he said power cannot be faked, you either possess it or you don't, however for those who do, the line between mediocre and immense power, is drawn with the blood of those who disregarded the absolute gap, interviewer said, powerful words from the global rank 97 strongest Kaimayo to date, then interviewer said, about his most recent combat scar, makes these man twice as intermediate more, now they making plan, the one man, said, don't die in your first fight, this is a brutal contest raider tournament, opponent allowed to kill each other to instantly win a round, then announcement happened, 
Ladies and gentlemen our fourth match of the night, we have Kevin from East. And his opponent Sunraz the untouched. They both stare each other, announcer said, a Kaimayo whose speed is unparalleled, as a result, Sunraz has never been injured in his MMA career. Kevin smiled and said, a tank versus speedster, he liked their taste. He knows you man, you are like one of the fastest Kaimayos right? Well, he is actually one of the toughest. It take a lot of move, so let's have a chill fight while he didn't complete his full word Sunraz is appearing behind and kicking him and Kevin to be thrown away then Sunraz said, listen closely, all have failed in trying to lay finger only him, you shall be no exception, then Kevin is angry and he approach with a punch but Sunraz avoid his punch and kick him in his stomach and he run around Kevin and then three Sunraz surrounded him, Azam surprisingly said, the talent is called image. Fusion threshold, his movement provide his after image enough time materialize creating duplicate himself. Then Chu Hart shouting and said, get that defense up, you are a breathing tank, then Kevin said, he's trying to mit. While Sunraz is hitting him from everywhere, while he is taking more hit than he slowly changing his muscles and said, don't underestimate him, while his eyes is open wide yellowish glow and he transform into a rhino hide. His talent is hide forge, the ability to create a protective shell that increase defensive and offensive capability, Sunraz is surprised to see, then Kevin punching him Sunraz easily dodges it and thinks, what kind of talent is this? Then announcer says, Kevin reveals his talent after being pushed. Meanwhile fight is still going on, Ten Sunraz running towards him and circling him, Kevin think, game on, this hide makes him far tougher, there is no way he can match his speed, then Sunraz attacking from in front on his face with his leg, Kevin thought, his attacks are going through his armor then Chu Hart shouted you are taking too many hits, find his weakness, now, what did master teach us, Kevin try to hit him but he is too fast, then he saw on the ground and think, the ground, while. Sunraz approached very fast with red glowing eyes and said, here come, while Kevin said, come then, and then he raised his foot at the same speed and hit the ground, that cracks the ground then Sunraz unbalanced and said, no, then Kevin holding Sunraz with his neck and prepare a punch while thinking you may have been granted speed Sunraz, but he was granted a power, then a powerful punch is coming to Sunraz and hit him in his stomach, he thrown away on a barrier, everyone surprise, he is happy. Announcer said incredible, is Kevin testing the strength of protective barrier? And then Sunraz is on the barrier falling behind unconscious, then Kevin slowly off his powers and said, that's for the cheap shot. And then Sunraz is on stature out of commission, then Kevin girlfriend hugging him and his friend is celebrating while he asked Louise, where's Chu? Louise said, he went to prepare himself, his next fight, honestly, he is very worry, Chu is never this serious, the whole plan is simply to expose Rokash. However, he's afraid to see Chu's reaction when he sees him face to face, then announcer said, that next. Our following fight? Chu Hart vs Nanaku. Paired based on their previous tournament scores, the human fighter Chu. He said, human, his combat wisdom is reflected in skill, and ladies and gentlemen, they're the mutant fighter, Nanaku, then Nanaku said to Chu, he pissed, the tournament where he showcase his talent to the world, that is disgrace him by having fight with no talent, then he bring out his long tongue out and said, no matter, after you die, human, he will simply move on to the next fight, then they both facing each other on arena, Nanaku smiled and said, what is this, a joke, Chu Hart said, don't stand in my way. While Rokash is thinking that he looked familiar boy, then they prepare for fight and start, Nanaku throw his punch that Chu easily divert other side, Chu punch him that Nanaku hold his hand and Chu back kick him which he blocked by hand, Chu's friends happy and amaze, then Louise asked Nanaku's teammates, what is he, a shark or high talent user? Then there a man said, your question shall be answered shortly, their fight goes on, they kicks, they defend himself, then Chu hit him with elbow Nanaku blocks with cross hands, 
Then Nanaku said, he can smell your rage, then he hit him same way as Chu and Chu defend himself as same Nanaku did, Chu kick him, Nanaku defend with his hand, they both goes hand to hand, face to face and head to head, Nanaku said, you thought you would die a better death than this, he have killed more than you have faced, you will die like all the others, with the shame of the fear, etched upon your face, then Chu heart jump above with both leg up and kicked him with his both leg in his chest, Nanaku hold his clothes and teared them and said, prey always puts up fight. How about we get serious, human, Chu said, you are getting in the way of his mission, Nanaku, Luis said, they are evenly matched, then red bearded man is smiling and said, do you really believe a man human can match Kaimayo killing machine? Chu punched him on face but he keeps smiling, red bearded man fiercely continue that Nanaku was a bread for war, the death march is his true element, just you wait for first blood. Then we saw Nanaku is punching, Chu avoided, and go behind him and hit him from behind, then Nanaku hold Chu neck, and smile maniacally and he slashed Chu's abdomen, his friends shocked, the red bearded man smiling and said, it has only just begin, announcer said, Nanaku, draws first blood. Nanaku smiling while Chu holding his wound, lots of blood on ground, Nanaku licking the blood and said, let's give the people a show heart. Bleed for him, while Chu heart holding his wound and thought, straight through his vest. It's burns hold on. You just need to make it to the next round. After that he prepare a punch and try to hit him, Nanaku dodged it, and he kick him that Chu heart thrown away and blood spilled on ground, while Chu is there, then there was blood on the ground, Nanaku kneel down and licking that blood, while calling Chu heart, and said, he can't seem to decide, and then he scream loudly with big smile and said, your head on a spike or heart in a jar, then the announcer said, this fight is getting crazy, while all the audience is cheering for them. Chu Hart is barely defend himself with Nanaku attacks, Chu Hart wounded in his face, shoulder, and his hand, Nanaku said, the more you bleed, the less you will breathe, now Chu's friends were worrying, Kevin shouted, this is looking bad, wake up Chu, find a blind spot now. Nanaku teammates said, hey, you look worried, rhino boy, the red bearded man said, do not waste your breath, boy. The hunting ground is a spectacle to behold, you see during the hunt, Nanaku draws first blood, he has already won, then Chu's eye wide open, his eyes shocked to see something and then there Nanaku was growing like hell and he became more fierce and dangerous everyone shocked, everyone's eyes and mouth is open wide with surprise, and Nanaku said, while your blood spills more. His instinct overflow. Azam said, stop this fight while red bearded man said, too damn late, behold, Nanaku become the blood frenzied hunter, Nanaku is screaming and roaring like predator, meanwhile, audience is enjoying the show and cheering them, Nanaku smiled when Chu heart confused and Rokash was curious and excited further, then Nanaku is totally transform into shark with sharp blade along his body, he's now a killing machine, he approaching toward Chu heart, announcer said, is anyone concerned for the human? Chu thought, that's explain why he looked like a shark from the beginning, Nanaku jumps over him, Chu dodged it Nanaku landed on the ground and the ground cracked around, then Chu start his fast movement and he punch him in his face while Nanaku is smiling, Chu was surprised to see, then Nanaku punching him and said, prey are always so quick on their feet, he smell their blood everywhere, Kaimayo and now human, Chu heart is barely keep him with, then he quickly jumped for his back, and grab him from behind and he thought, this is the last chance, then he give him super slam, then announcer said, incredible strength on this kid, then Nanaku is laying there, while Chu exhausted beside, Kevin said, yes, then sudden Nanaku said, does not nature show you, while holding Chu heart's hand he said, that prey are never the victors, Chu heart shocked and surprised, and then Nanaku slam his head on ground, the ground cracked by impact, the audience are surprised and silent to see that. His friends on despair and Rokash thinks, and what will you do Chu? Then Nanaku holding Chu's head up and said, are you satisfied? 
this is the product of your years of delusion, look at this, you make a mockery of his skill, let his blood be on your hand, he will kill every human arrogant enough to enter Kaimayo tournaments. And he punch him that throw him away, Chu Hart laying on ground motionless while Nanaku approaching there slowly and said, power cannot be faked, you either possess it or you don't, however, for those who do, the line between mediocre and immense power is drawn with the blood of those who disregarded the absolute gap, then Kevin screamed stop the fight, while that old man is smiling and said, watch your friend die, and then Nanaku said, do you hear that silence kid? He will use your corpse as a stepping stone, as he paint this floor with your blood, but rejoice, he will be merciful in granting you a swift death, while his friends is screaming for stop this fight, then Nanaku laughed and go toward Chu and said, he decided, your head shall be mounted upon his wall. While Rokash said, to think he was wondering you may be related to the legend s. Heart but you are merely disappointment cursed to carry his name, then Nanaku is approaching towards Chu Heart and he is kneel their own ground, the Nanaku open his mouth wide enough to devour him, that moment Chu Heart's eyes widen and thinks, is this where he died? While there slowly fire is bursting, and see a burning man slowly walking toward him, the man is Leo Thomas, his formal teacher and he said, he can't stop now, not yet, not ever. Then that fighting arena is engulfed in fire, barrier is containing the fire, everyone eyes and mouth open by surprise to see that, Rokash also surprise, the announcer said, the barrier wall won't hold much longer, choose friends going to protect them, then Luis prepare his power to defend public, his power is range control then the fire just going to a lady, Azum quickly grab her and save her, while Kevin is holding two people to protect from fire, then Chu Hart's friends said, you guys seeing this, those flames are just like masters, and the flame is going on live fire tornado, meanwhile Nanaku is in pain and thinks about flames and said, you damn liar, you registered for this competition as human. You deceiver, you said you had no talent, you mocked him then and you mocked him now. He will devour you and rip your limb from limb then there is reflection on his eyes a burning man standing in front of him, he was too hard and gained a fire talent burning like phoenix, now, there is fear in those eyes, sweat drops in frightened, too hard think, he feel no pain, is he alive, what is this power, he feel reborn, while his friends were surprised to see, Nanaku thinks, impossible, he said, he tested your blood and it was human. This power that you now flaunt change nothing, then Nanaku laughed and run towards him and said, he is going to kill you slow boy, while that red bearded man shouting get out of there Nanaku. Run you idiot, then Chu Hart said, he wonder, when you burn, then a man said to Rokash to stop the fight. Your guest, they are not safe. Those flames are similar to that war hero Leo Thomas, then Rokash cracked the chair handle, then Kevin said, don't kill him, Chu continue saying that will your flesh turn to ash? While Nanaku says, die, the Chu raise his hand and said, you first, then the flame is going toward Nanaku and engulf him in like tornado, and between flames, there is Nanaku is burning like hell. Then we saw Chu Hart standing there and Nanaku's burned body laying there dead, audience shocked and silent, his friends also surprise and tense, then we saw Chu Hart's burning hair slowly calming down, and fire extinguished, and he is normalized his form and then his friend runs toward him with cloth and give him and asked, bro your wounds. Are you alright? Chu said, he can stand, his body feels like it's ripped apart and then sewn back together, Kevin said, what the hell, man? Since when are we killers? While Chu was silent, then there is a big blast on a window, every camera on that side one cameraman said, isn't that Rokash's lounge? Then Kevin said, think that woke him up? They both standing in arena while announcer said, ladies and gents, please stay and calm. He think Rokash may have just had an accident, Chu silently watching there, then we saw Rokash on his lounge, he excitedly screaming and laughing, and shouting to Chu Hart, he said Leo's best student, he excitedly said, wait, that old man gave you his talent? Every cameraman is on his face, 
Chu Hart said, he dare you to speak his name, Rokash said, he remember the both of you, the furious wolf cubs, at your master's side, he choose you, he fiercely laughing and said, Leo Thomas you are way too good, old man, in your death you still manage to create a successor? This week human Chu, you bring Leo's talent into the world again? No matter, he will kill you as easy as he killed your master, then every cameraman is shocked to hear this and every audience is shocked and someone said, he murder him? War hero Leo. Rokash said, you've come to avenge Papa? You plan to win then do what? Bring him to justice? Ha! Huh? He's amused, then his man said, brilliant move, boss, you just confessed on live television, then three police officer arrived there, Inspector Ian said, this a joke Rokash. You hired us to secure this event, while you stand the culprit have been searching for. You murder Leo Thomas, then have us guard you. Rokash man said, we can't kill cops, they're still filming, then inspector said, Rokash Rampersad, you are under arrest, Hanor, step away from your boss now. Hanor come forth and said Rokash just stand behind him then from his hand sharp blades coming out, inspector warning him step away from there but he didn't listen, then Rokash trying to escape, the police point their gun on them and Hanor use his full talent devil parasite to block the bullet, then Chu Hart said, Rokash, camera turn, on Chu, he said, he would pray that the system finds you before we do, you cut short the life of the man who raised us, you made your life's final mistake, run Rokash if you slay a wolf, be sure to kill his cubs, too. While Rokash escaping he is still laughing like psychopath, Chu continue his word that for we will chase you to the grave, they all dojo mates standing in fighting arena with a determination on their face.